What's up guys? It's Tyler presenting another video here on Corlew's Tiebreaker and tomorrow is the best day of the year as a baseball fan short of October baseball. Opening day of cross major league baseball. The season begins tomorrow for all 30 teams in major league baseball. So what better way to celebrate opening day than by putting out a prediction video of how each team is going to fare this season based on everything they've done in the offseason and how the season could possibly play out and see who finishes where. So let's begin with the American League West. Let's start from the bottom for each division just to make it consistent. In fifth place in the West, I've got the Seattle Mariners finishing with a projected record of 67 wins, 95 losses. The Texas Rangers, who the Royals will beat tomorrow. And I will be there to witness it. They will finish fourth in the West with a record of 75 wins, 87 losses. And they think they're going to have packed stadiums this year. Yet, yeah, it's not happening just yet. Maybe in September. Maybe. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Sorry, Angels fans. I don't think your team is making the playoffs this year. However, you will have a winning record. 88 wins, 74 losses to finish third in the division. And in spite of losing some key players over the offseason, I do think the Houston Astros will put up a good fight and be in contention for a wild card spot, but ultimately fall short. But they will have a record of 91 wins, 71 losses. So that leaves the West champion being the Oakland Athletics. And here's the bold part of my prediction here. They will finish with a record of 102 wins and 60 losses. And the crazier part, which we'll get to in a minute, that won't even be the best record in the American League. So stay tuned. Um, now the American League Central, where my Kansas City Royals happen to be stationed at. Let's start from the bottom. Now we're here. Um, the Detroit Tigers, still in the midst of a rebuild. I think their record will be 50 and 112. Yeah, even with Miguel Cabrera in the lineup, there's just too much uncertainty up there. And now here's where it gets really interesting. A lot of people think the Cleveland Indians will finish no worse than third in the American League Central. However, I, I don't know, I just don't think their offense is going to be consistent enough. And their pitching is, their rotation is top heavy. And who knows what the bullpen's even going to look like, you know, in terms of those high leverage situations. So I think Cleveland finishes fourth out of five teams in the division with a record of 79 wins, 83 losses. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, so that will put the Kansas City Royals. I think they'll finish third in the division. I think they'll make some strides this year in terms of establishing themselves as coming back towards contention for a wild card spot. Uh, but just not there yet. I predict their record will be 83 wins, 79 losses, which will be our first winning season since 2015 when we won the World Series. And now the last two times we had a winning record, we made the playoffs. But unfortunately, it won't be the case this year. But we get above 500, which that's all I'm hoping for this year. Anything else on top of that is a bonus. Chicago White Sox, I think, will finish second in the division with a record of 92 wins, 70 losses. And they're they're going to be battling it out with Houston late in the season 
for the wild card spot, and the White Sox will end up getting it. Which leaves the Minnesota Twins to win the division. And I think they'll win 103 games and only lose 59. So that would be the best record in the American League. Honestly, I hate to admit it, but they are primed to win the division this year. So, um, now let's move to the American League East. Baltimore Orioles, um, Trey Mancini, I will give you a standing ovation because you beat colon cancer, and that runs in my family on my mom's side. So, as someone who has had two colon surgeries to prevent the onset of colon cancer later on in life. Um, I salute you, and I wish you nothing but the best this season. Um, only unless you face the Royals or the Braves. But aside from that, I wish you the best of luck, my man. But unfortunately, the Baltimore Orioles are not going to have much to cheer for besides that, because um, they're still in a rebuild, and they're going to finish last in the East, with a record of 59 wins, 113 losses. Um, now let's move on to the Tampa Bay Rays. So this is the East is going to be really, really interesting because they're. I predict they'll have four teams with a winning record, and the difference between first and fourth at the end of the year is going to be somewhere at around 12 games in terms of difference in records so um tampa bay rays um they'll be scrappy they'll finish above 500 but they won't eclipse fourth in the division this year 87 wins 75 losses is what i predict for them boston red sox i think they'll be kind of sneaky good kind of out of nowhere um it's kind of one of those who knows type situations like fit I think they'll finish with a record of 88 wins, 74 losses to take third in the division, but no playoff spot. The Toronto Blue Jays have got something good going. They look really good on paper. Let's see how it translates to, I guess, their turf at home. Wait, they're not playing in Canada to start the year. Anyway, let's see how it looks on the diamond, but I think they'll win 93 games and only lose 69 games. And not only do, are they in the playoffs, but they will be hosting the wild card game. Now, that's unless the playoff format changes to similar to what it was last year, but I don't think it will. Because I think if they were going to make any changes, it would have been before tomorrow. It would have been well in advance by now. So I think we're going to revert to back to how it was, which means it'll be Toronto hosting the wild card game against the, the Chicago White Sox. Um, which leaves the New York Yankees to take the AL East with a record of 99 wins, 63 losses. Now let's go ahead and move on to the National League West. Colorado Rockies, they're in a rebuild. Um, I predict the record is 61 wins, 101 losses. Um, San Francisco Giants, I think they'll be better than... Uh, how they've looked in recent years. Um, I think they'll finish at 500. 81 wins, 81 losses. Arizona Diamondbacks, kind of sneaky good. Um, they'll finish above 500, but I don't think they make the playoffs. Uh, they'll take third in the NL West with a record of 83 and 79. The Slam Diego Padres. Okay, sorry, San Diego, but... It was a theme last year with them. They make the playoffs again this year with a record of 93 wins, 69 losses. So that leaves the defending World Series champion, LA Dodgers, to take the NL West division. And they will have the best record in baseball. I predict 110 wins, 52 losses. Now that is a lofty prediction. But the Dodgers have the resources in terms of talent and coaching to get it done. Now, let's see how it translates in October. But I think they'll have a pretty good season. The National League Central. 
and this is in a video that will be discussed next week, but in the the Pittsburgh Pirates, why are they in the NL Central? It just makes absolutely no sense. Anywho, um, they're still in a rebuild, so they're going to finish last in the Central with a record of 70 and 92. Chicago Cubs, I think they're going to fall off from when they were a playoff contender. They'll finish above 500 with a record of 82 and 80. Cincinnati Reds, they're going to be sneaky good this year. Or actually, I wouldn't even say sneaky good. They're, you know, there's expectations over there based on some of the talent they've signed in recent years. Uh, 89 wins, 73 losses, but just on the outside looking into the playoffs. The Milwaukee Brewers, I think they'll take second in the division with a record of 90 and 72, and they will travel to San Diego to play the Padres in the wild card game. So that leaves the St. Louis Cardinals with the new addition of Nolan Arenado from the Rockies and the uh, core from last year. They take the division 92 wins, 70 losses. So there you go there. Um, then the National League East, it'll be the Miami Marlins finishing last. I could be wrong, but we'll see. 67 to 95. The Washington Nationals. I don't think they're quite there from even just a few years ago when they won the World Series. So they'll finish below 500, I predict. Uh, 78 and 84 will be their record. Philadelphia Phillies. I might be lowballing, like how many wins they'll have, but I think they'll finish third in the division, kind of no matter what their record is. Um, I do predict they'll finish above 500 with a record of 82 and 80. The New York Mets. Now, this is probably another one I'm lowballing based on, you know, getting guys like Car Carlos Carrasco and Francisco Lindor from the Cleveland Indians in that trade in the offseason. Um, now, they're supposed to be getting Syndergaard back, or as my dad and I like to call him, Noah Snodgrass. Um, and it dates back to when he buzzed Alcides Escobar with a fastball one time. Uh, still not happy about it, but it is what it is. Um, so at this current moment, I predict the record for the Mets will be 88 and 74. Very respectable, very much in contention for a wild card spot. I just think they're on the outside looking in. Unless they make some huge moves at the trade deadline, which I would not be surprised if they needed just like one or two more pieces. Which leaves the Atlanta Braves to win the East again with a record of 101 and 61. So, and like I discussed already, the American League wild card game will be the Chicago White Sox traveling to wherever Toronto is going to end up playing late in the year to play to, in my estimation, play against the Minnesota Twins in the ALDS. And then the wild card game on the National League side will be Milwaukee traveling to San Diego to play the Padres. And that team would advance to play the Dodgers in the National League Division Series. So there you have it, folks. Um, we'll see how these all play out between now and September. Or sorry, the end of September and October. Um, hopefully your team makes the playoffs, depending on who you root for. But I'm definitely hoping that I lowballed my prediction on the Royals. I hope they make the playoffs, but... Just not sure yet. We'll see how things play out. Um, but until next time, uh, continue to stay safe and healthy out there. God bless you all, and happy opening day.